Good afternoon. The uh, injury update, we've got DJ Jones. Uh, he will not participate. Dalton Reisner will not participate. Tyree, Jonathan Cooper, Billy Turner, Darius Phillips, and Randy Greger will not participate. And then a limited role will be Aaron Patrick, Caden Stearns, K1, Quinn, Kendall, Melvin, Barron, Mike Purcell, and PJ Locke. What's going on with uh, Billy Turner here, Coach? Yeah, we're just trying to get him over the hump. I think that's the best way to look at it is we want him to just come back and be strong and feel strong and confident. Uh, he just sustained a, a little bit of an injury there, and so we're just taking care of him and making sure he's good. What's the injury? Uh, ankle? Yes, sorry. Is he day to day or is he out for this week? Uh, we're going to play it uh, really day to day right now, and we'll see where he goes. Did he hurt it on that long drive? Because I think we saw him kind of trying to walk it off and then play went and he just kept Yeah, playing. there was a, he did it and he, you know, he went in and uh, got it checked and came out and finished the game, which I thought was great. Your, uh, your dad coached the Raiders and the Chiefs from his time there. What did you kind of learn about the Raiders and what this rivalry means? Yeah, I would say this whole division, obviously we know that it's, it's a very, very good division. And whenever you have a chance to play anybody in the West, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a heck of a game. I mean, it's going to be a battle. It's, I mean, this has been a rivalry for a long time. I mean, anybody within this, whether it's the Chiefs, the Raiders, uh, the Chargers, those have all been amazing games. And, uh, you know, now we're going against the Raiders. I mean, they're a very good football team, very talented team. And it's going to be a, a great battle. You've, pre you've said when the West is a goal, you've put it on shirts and, you know, in the locker room area. How important is it to regain footing against the Raiders specifically? I think this French is one in six the last seven, haven't won a road game against them since Peyton was here. Yeah, you know, that's the past. Uh, I mean, this is this is the now. And so I just know what, what we're about to uh, go go out there and try to do. Um, I know it's going to be a great game. Um, I know that there is a rivalry between these two these two teams and uh, happy to be part of it. And uh, I think it's going to be a fun game. You know Devontae Adams, obviously. Yeah, it, Devontae, you, I mean, you just got to try to slow him down. I mean, he's a guy I've, I've been with for the past three years. Uh, he's an amazing human being, somebody that's very dear to my heart. Um, but uh, at the same time, we got to stop him. And uh, I know that he's a dynamic receiver on how he can get the ball both, both vertically, intermediate, all over the place. And he's a very smart football player. Um, but we're going to have to do our best to contain him as much as we can. And the defense has done a fine job up to this point, the past three games. And it's going to be a great, great challenge for all of them. And it's not just going to be one guy. It's going to take the whole team to know where he is and how to stop him. It's only been three games, but are they using him any differently than you guys use him in Green Bay? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a different system um, for sure, but I know they want to get him the ball. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, he's, he's a great player and great with the ball in his hands. He had an amazing catch in the red zone uh, for a touchdown. Just shows how, shows how good he is even when he's contested. Um, and like I said, it's going to be a great challenge for our defense, and, and they're getting up for it. On a similar note, Derek Carr's kind of had his way in this series lately. What makes him so tough, and what challenge does he provide? Yeah, I mean, he's a very, very good uh, passer. I mean, that guy, when he stands back there, his release, his ability to understand defenses, his ability to get the ball out to different players, not just one. And they have a lot of weapons on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, they've got a great tight end. They've got a bunch of receivers. They've got a running back. They've got a line. I mean, this is a very good team. This is going to be a great challenge for our defense, and, and I think they're excited for it. One of the things Scar's done in the past is he's got the ball out really quick to avoid the pass rush, specifically when playing the Broncos. When a team does that, I know you're on offense, but what's the best way for a defense to counteract that? Yeah, I mean, changing up the coverages, not giving them the easy, just uh, easy completions, but understanding that sometimes it's okay to give those easy completions as long as we rally and make the tackle. Um, you just want to try to limit those explosives. I think that's always the key. And uh, like we said, I mean, Devontae, some of those guys are going to get catches, and that's okay. It's about how we rally to it, how we get there. And then once they go a little bit deeper, now we let the pass rush get in there. Offensively, when things start clicking for you guys, what do you think that'll look like specifically? <laughs> uh, you know, I a lot of, scoring a lot of points and scoring in the red zone and converting on third down, getting a good run game, good pass game, good balance between the two of those. Um, I think that's what we're aiming for, and uh, we have yet uh, to really, you know, turn it on. I think, and uh, right now it's a lot of self-inflicted wounds. And I think that's the positive thing. I think it's about us as a group. It's about me as a play caller first and foremost, and then getting Russell in a rhythm, uh, getting the running backs in a rhythm, everybody in a rhythm to be efficient and also be able to get explosive plays. Hey, nearly as many as he had all of last year in that category. What is it about him and this offense that is kind of creating a lot of those opportunities? 
Yeah, I think, well, first and foremost, you just take those natural one-on-one -on -one battles that he's able to win when you could just put the ball up. Uh, we saw one uh, that he got down to the five-yard line last week. Um, you know, that's just... Cortland being Cortland and Russell giving a good good ball and that's that's just so hard to defend. Um, and then you know we try to move him around, we try to do different things with him. We just don't want to keep him at one spot so they can track him and find him. Um, and we want to do that with all the guys because we don't want it just to be about Cortland. We want it to be everybody. Um, but I think that you know we, we've got a nice little route tree for him, a lot of different things that he does. Uh, and I don't know necessarily exactly how it was last year, but for us we just want him to be as multiple as he can be. Yeah, I do. I, I think, I mean, we have two games coming up in five days. So I think that's something that I definitely have to look forward to as much as, you know, you want to just concentrate on the West game um, that we have versus the Raiders right now. But we have to understand that there is a game in four days after that. So we just want to make sure the guy, I mean, it was an unbelievably physical game on Sunday. I mean, both sides of the ball, all three phases. Um, and, and I appreciate those guys doing everything on that game. And my job is to be sure that I take care of them. I make sure that uh, they're ready to go on Sundays. KJ Hamler, obviously, he's been dealing with the injuries. You've been kind of limiting him. What's the key to getting him going and being a vertical threat like you know he can be? Yeah, you know, I, I think that's just getting that uh, kind of that that feel with Russ. You know, want to see Russ being able to find him and um, him being able to get some catches because, I mean, it is a, a dramatic injury he's he's come back from, but he's done a great job doing that. I have so much respect for him, all the things that he's battled through. And, uh, you know, what's great about KJ is he knows so many different positions, so we can put him at a lot of different spots. And uh, we want to get him down the field. We want to have him be that vertical threat. And uh, we just got to, you know, continually work him in. Nationally, people want to pile on Russ for whatever reason. How do you see him handling this and knowing that it's probably going to require a little bit of patience for you two in this offense to get to where it wants to go. Yeah, I mean, I don't really look at that stuff. I mean, we're in here trying to get ready for a game versus the Raiders. Um, you know, anytime you're in something that's so new, whether it be him, you know, on this team with all these new players, with new coaching staff, um, it's going to take a little time. It's not just going to get up there and roll right away. And uh, that's just the reality of it. Um, there's some great moments, and we just need those to be more consistent. And uh, that starts with me being able to get him in a rhythm and understanding him because I can help him with the play calls that, you know, make him get into that flow, get him into the rhythm with the different players that he has around him. So um, we just got to continually grow and continually get better. It's early in the season, and uh, we just want to keep getting better. Not just here, but in your past, in your past stops. How long has that taken for, for teams and offenses? I've had that question so many times. Um, I wish I had an exact number or exact time. Uh, I think for any time you're bringing a group of 22 guys that suit up on game day together, you know, everybody's working with everyone and everybody's trying to get a feel for everybody from cadence to play call to rhythm to routes to how we're attacking different people and understanding the system. There's so many things that go into this game. Um, sometimes it happens quicker. Sometimes it takes a little longer. I think in the end, as long as we're continually learning from the different things and the guys are growing within the system, I think it's going to be good. Thank you very much, Coach. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Coach.